getting it all ether. <laughs> okay. And it should say that we're like, so up on the left corner, so it shows we're live. Yes. So Hello, it does. everyone. <laughs> we're actually Hi. a few minutes early. Uh, Carolyn <laughs> is joining us from Australia. Hi, Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we're at the, we're at Jean's shop. Wave, Jean. <laughs> so, so you all know hopefully everybody knows nicola hi uh and then this is hannah hello <laughs> we're, we're hanging with hannah we're, we're hanging, hanging with, with hannah. hannah and then janine from acorns and threads sherry or i Seller. yep sherry the the oh, stitch along leader stitch oh yeah. thank you You're and sweet. i'm kathy ray and the other person who's missing is janice from traditional stitches she had a prior commitment she couldn't well, she didn't want to get out of because she's in Calgary and she has a friend visiting from Australia. So we thought it was important she goes and sees the friends. So we'll we'll catch her on a future live. But we wanted to get together because a we were we were in the same place at the same time. Yeah. And Hannah finally returned from her little foray with yes. Sarah off in the wilds of Yay. Delhi. For a yeah. <laughs> um, Very stressful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is when your children go running amok. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hadn't thought of it that way. It's kind of like children running amok. Yeah. Yeah. So today we thought we'd just kind of talk a bit about the, the model, have Nicole talk about the model yeah. and about the original sampler. And um, you can show off where you are at yeah. this point and all the pretty lovelies. And we have a, a couple of of fun attic things to yeah, show Yeah, something off. very precious I want to share with yeah. everybody. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we just thought it would be nice to get together with us in the same um, room at the same time and, and enjoy the the joys of stitching and talking about Hannah. So yeah. do you want to talk about, Nicola, about where, so where did the model, how did you acquire the model uh, and why? The, the original. <laughs> the original yeah, was the original. acquired yeah. at auction and when I saw this sampler come up for auction, honestly, my heart stopped and my stomach just leapt with joy. This is an amazing sampler. It's a Bobby Dazzler of a sampler. It is. It's unique. And no matter where you look on this sampler, it delights the eye. The border is amazing. It was a pain to chart, but it is amazing. The... Um, lozenger cartouche at the top is well it's just wow and there's just so many layers to that cartouche i loved this band going across then the algerian eyelet diamonds going across the verse is very it's, it's a lovely verse then you've got this beautiful house and anyway, there's just everything and the name bali paladi i just love it just <laughs> <laughs> just love the name, Bally Paladi. It sounds so nice on the tongue. Um, I think as well, with Irish samplers, you can't always identify them as being Irish. But with that name, you know this sampler comes from Ireland. And of course, the other giveaway with this sampler is this uh, font. You see this on Irish Quakers. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that there is cool. nothing to say that Hannah is a Quaker. Um, it's just beautiful. So maybe inspired by motifs from a Quaker sampler? Yeah. Or, or maybe a teacher, you know, that is a Quaker or, but she may have been a Quaker. We don't know. There's, there's nothing to confirm that she is a Quaker. So I don't want to say this is a Quaker sampler because there's, there's nothing to back that up. Um, I must say that the model, the stitching on this model is, is it, it's, it's exceptional, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. It is absolutely, absolutely exceptional. And the model was stitched by Melissa Coyle, who's from... Naperville, Illinois. That's right, isn't it? I always get confused with all the states. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, 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 Melissa is an amazing needle worker. Um, you know, it's just a joy to work with Melissa and... Um, she should be very, very proud of what she's created mm -hmm. here. And all of you, when you finish your Hannah's, you should be very proud because this is a, just an amazing sampler for your sampler wall. So what was she stitched on for the original? Um, like a 70-ish kind of thing? When you say the, the count. count. The count. 
the can. Yeah. No, the, can, the, the the original sample is much bigger than this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'm so tired. I can't yeah. remember. Have I our brains, our brains are our full brains from gone. a from a from a happy Bristol weekend. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh yes. The original sampler was worked on linen that was approximately 28 count. And for those wow, of you who have followed bigger. my floss tubes, you would have seen the original sampler and the model side by side in my floss tubes. Um, and we'll put a link to that after the broadcast. Yeah. I'll put a link to that particular YouTube yeah. link. Yeah. Uh, and I'm very, very pleased with the color matches to the original, you know, when you think of all these different colors, it was just so wonderful that in the Avera Spar range, it gives us the capacity to match these colors. Was it matched to the front or the back? To the front. I've never taken it out of the frame. It's beautifully framed mm -hmm. in what is an original frame, and I wouldn't want to um, change, it. change it at all. Um, I think it's not very often that a sampler like this becomes available as a reproduction you know this is the original sampler is a valuable sampler we, you know we're lucky we're lucky that an antique dealer um didn't get their hands on it and then it just disappeared mm -hmm. into a private collection because i i think i was just in the right place at the right time um and managed to secure it it cost me a lot of money but we managed to secure it so that it could be reproduced yeah she is she really is stunning when um last october when nicola and i talked about whether or not to do another stitch along with our five shops and she sent me i think five or six mm -hmm. different really amazing samplers and each one of them just really shined in its own light but i came across it and just went oh my gosh she's the one she's yeah. the one that we have to go with well, and the response has been amazing both the red and the blue both grab mm -hmm. you for mm -hmm. entirely different reasons you know the red is that vibrancy but you see the blue particularly from a distance so i notice that i see different things on it sitting from here mm -hmm. seeing it than when i'm holding it in front of me yeah. and i'm looking at you know the little tiny stitches mm -hmm. that it it has a sort of different impact mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Um, I acquired the sample at the very, very beginning of COVID. In the first weeks of our lockdown, it arrived. Um, and it was a, it, it took its time to become available because Melissa, bless her, she had a very nasty fall and broke one wrist very badly. So she couldn't stitch for some time. And then she fell and broke her other wrist. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. You know, so mm. it took a little time to be stitched. But um, these girls, they come when they're ready. And it was the right time for this stitch along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. she is. She is truly special. Yeah. So um, do you want to show off your... Yeah, you so that? we'll... Um, can I have the pattern for me? Yes, Thank course. you. So I'll go over really quick. Um, for those that maybe weren't able to join us for the kickoff a uh, little over a week ago. Um, the way that the months are broken down, we broke it down for 15 months this time instead of 12 because she's so intense. We wanted each of the stitching assignments to be doable. And so it's roughly 78 stitches wide on a grid by about 58 stitches long. So that keeps her in sections that are easy. Um, that also, oh, I'm getting feedback. Ooh, I'm getting feedback. Um, that also makes it so that if you're a top right or top left stitcher or bottom right or bottom left stitcher, that you can still keep up with all the months and still feel like you're following along, yeah. even if you start in a different spot. So that's the reason that um, laid it out that way. And then I have my stitching assignment done for this month. And I am stitching on the 56 count and I'm using Bee's Knees by Seraphim. Let's see if I can bring it just a little bit closer. And thank you. Does that work? Yes, yes that's, that's perfect. perfect. And beautiful. So as you can see, it is not a very big stitching assignment. 
It did not take me real long. And there was some over one in that. Um, thank you, Nicola. And so that make that keeps them very doable. There is a lot of over one in this sampler. There's lots of little birds that are over one. Um, and as we get to some of the different features, then as we'll do stitch alongs each month and we will, I'll give you some tips and tricks for doing some of the specialty stitches as we get to those points. And then here is, if you have not yet received your threads for some reason, because they're still on order, um, here are the threads. These are the Swasser Fiend, which is very, very close to what the 103s are. There was, I think, three threads, Jean, I think so. that we had to um, do close matches as opposed to direct color matches from 103 to the Swasser Fiend. Um, so she's just, she is amazing. She is very doable mm -hmm. in 15 months. Yeah. The one thing that she is not doable for is Ada. Right. And at Hands Across the Sea Samplers, we really try to make all our samplers stitchable on Ada. If we always try to give people options. Um, but this sampler, it just, it just can't work for Ada stitches. So I am really, really sorry about that. Um, also, a lot of people get a little bit put off about intense eyelets, which you have in this band. Change them to rice stitches. Or yeah, well, yeah, or Smyrna's. Smyrna. Either one. Smyrna. Yeah. 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 I love stitching both. Well, I, I like stitching all three of them. But you know, you've got options there as well. And we'll go over when we get to the eyelets. I will also go over a technique for doing continual eyelets. So you're not having to work to complete each one individually. It it goes in a run and it is quicker. Yeah, absolutely. You get a nice zigzag. Pattern. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I always stitch eyelets, you know, in two journeys. Yes. Always. They sit so much nicer. Yes. Yeah. So we will go over how to do that when we get down to that point. Um, we'll do it the mm -hmm. month ahead so that when we get to that month, um you're ready to go yeah oh excellent point. yeah yeah the other thing that attracted me to this sampler was the use of the beads in the windows and mm. just on that little flower uh, i just wish 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 that we could have got beads that were tiny enough for it to work on 46 count but we could not i don't i personally don't think there's beads the right size I don't think this. that are manufactured today. No. no, I think you'd have to luck into a nineteen hundred, early nineteen hundreds to maybe nineteen thirties. Yeah. I have some in my personal stash that are super teeny tiny. Yeah, but I think even they might not be. No, because you know, with Hannah originally stitching this on twenty eight count, she didn't have mm. the problem of looking for really you know, minute. Oh, right, beads. right. <laughs> I tell you what, somebody said to me about trying to find antique beads, you often go into thrift stores, charity stores, and you see Victorian evening bags. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yes. That are beaded. That are maybe falling apart. And you can yeah. take the beads off that. Um, if you wanted sort of like an antique bead, if you were stitching on some of the lower counts, that, that's an idea. Might be harder to find. Yeah. Yeah. You, find yeah. you could find something. Very clever, though. If you wanted that, because like, you know, the, the old beads, they are they 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 do look and feel slightly different than the sort of the mass produced. Well, the beads older of the ones day. tend to be more um, angular. Yeah. The the edges of the beads are a little harder in that sense. They're, they're not, not plastic. The even even seed right. beads are not quite as rounded mm. as contemporary seed beads are. But they they're glass beads, aren't they? Yeah, the older ones, yeah. which is something which is. But they sparkle oh, more. I, they I, do. I have some beads that I think I bought at that knitting at that at that bead store in Portland. Oh yeah. Like mm -hmm. I don't know, ten years ago mm -hmm. that are that color, but I don't but they're not quite small enough. Hmm. Yeah. And I, I could maybe do them count. on like thirty two or thirty six, mm -hmm. but they still I think are too small. I still think are too big for, mm -hmm. for like We don't have 36. many industries in Cornwall, but within the twenty minute drive from my home is a big bead wholesalers and I actually spoke to them and they sent me the, the smallest beads they had in different shapes and sizes 
but it, nothing would work. No. Are you able to find anything really small in Australia for beads, Carolyn? Not that I'm aware of, no. 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 Right. So do you have any tips for the accentuate for those working on the higher count linen? Actually, the accentuate is fine enough that I have been able to work with it on 56 count and it's not okay. an issue. It is. Yeah, I did, I did have one that. customer have a bit of an issue with the 46 apparently, so I just thought I'd ask. What sort of issue, Carolyn? <clears throat> she felt it was too bulky. Really? Uh, mm. Maybe do it as a tent stitch then and mm. yeah. do a tent stitch as opposed to a full cross. But I have done, even on 56 count with the accentuate, I've done full cross. Yeah. And it was fine. Um, and I wonder if maybe she needed to change her needle to that, open those yeah. holes up a little bit and help that thread through the fabric a little bit. Does she stitch yeah. in a hoop or does she stitch in hand? Uh, in a frame of some, either a hoop or a key snap, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because that yeah. can definitely yeah. make it a little easier to, to stretch the fabric a bit. Yeah. Can help a but the need, changing the needle is a very good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, just open those holes up so that that can lay a little flatter as they cross over each mm -hmm. other. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't want to use um, that thread, mm -hmm. you can just use a, a silk thread. Right. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I know for some of our... Um, for some of our international stitchers, they were having a hard time sourcing the accentuate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so I talked to several of them and said, <laughs> just find a beautiful bright blue yeah. that reads well as a window and yeah. use it. It doesn't have to be, ex it doesn't have to be absolutely exact. Yeah. We took advice from Lamora Peter of Access Commodities about options and of course Lamora's knowledge of threads is just staggering. Staggering. Yeah. Um and this is what she recommended and we were very pleased how it worked on the forty six count. Yeah. It, it looks just, fabulous. So <laughs> Well and it is a machine embroidery thread. Yeah. So it has a lot of tensile strength to it. Yeah. Um, so that if you are doing it on a, th a finer count, you're not going to break it. Break it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So isn't it wonderful with a stitch along how we can exchange ideas and we can all learn from each other? I think if you ever have the opportunity to join a stitch along that has such a wonderful stitch leader as Shelley, oh, who you. puts so much in, you yeah. will get so much back out of it well and i always tell them if you have questions that for some reason you feel aren't being answered particularly on faith on the facebook feed itself mm -hmm. in the group itself you can always personal message me and i'm fine with that and i've helped a lot of people through the yeah. previous stitch alongs yeah. uh one on one also yeah so yeah, that, that's just invaluable it really really is it, it's you sherry you yeah Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay. um, the Hannah has been so, so popular. She's actually coming towards the end of her third print run. It's, it's wow. just amazing. Wow. It really, really <laughs> is. so and exciting. All of you ladies, you have worked so hard to keep up with supplies. So you all deserve a round of applause for that. Absolutely. In the way the industry is at the moment. You know, you've literally got to fight to get your hands on those supplies for your customers, haven't you? Mm -hmm. And it's really all your years of experience and building up contacts that have enabled you to get all of this together. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. So, um, well, it is, it, she's such a lovely piece. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so tell us about your little <gasps> your little box there. Oh. Uh, we don't want to end with that because you're hugging it. I know. And I'd be <laughs> hugging mine too if it was sitting right here. <laughs> when I say I really like something, I really, really do. I never show anything on my on my floss tube channel, but I don't you know, I I don't say it for the sake of it. I'm not an influencer. What I share are things that I love. And when you go to a workshop at the attic, Jean always has a lovely surprise 
something very precious for all the attendees and we're all very excited aren't we what it's going to be <laughs> <laughs> and this year it was like oh my god yes they are these little oh i can't go that way can i go yeah, yeah you can. okay <laughs> they are these little boxes that you can store your SWA 103 or your Sydney schools. Um, the top opens so you can put them on these little uh, spikes and then it closes down and it says the attic needleworks on which makes it even more precious. And it's got magnets on Yeah, the top. little magnet on the top for your needle and there's a little um, engraved needle on there. Um, it, it's just so, so beautiful. I was so excited yeah. oh, about giving them. I know. I, when they arrived, I had, I'd seen photos and drawings and plans from mm. that. And when they arrived and I actually held it in my hand, I, I just could not wait. <laughs> when, we, when we walked into the event room on the Saturday morning, they were all out on this table. And you could you could feel the excitement in the room as people were walking in. And as soon as G said you could go up, it was like, whoosh. It was. It was, it it was, was. Like a mass accident to yeah. the table. And um, this is just so, so precious. But... Jean is going to have these available in the shop for you to get. Um, and it's only $50. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that's all it is, Jean. This is just amazing. Something very, very special for your collection. You will love this. I promise you. So get in contact with the attic and place your is order. Is the best, best way to do it to have them send you an email? Yes. Yes, okay. an yeah. email. Yeah. And um, you can go on the list for the next batch that's being made, so. And which email address? Samplers at atticneedlework.com. So samplers at atticneedlework.com. I'll post that in yeah. the comments. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. oh, I know. This is going, not even in my carry-on suitcase, this is going in my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the cool thing was, not only did we all get them as gifts at the retreat, but Jean had extras here at the shop, and they're all gone. Yeah. I, I think you had 15 or so extras, and they all got yeah. purchased and snapped, snapped, up. snapped up, up because they're really just beautiful. It's always so precious to have anything that says the attic needle works on. <laughs> <laughs> but this is extra precious. <laughs> it is. Yeah. One of the things that I think would be really fun, since I've got all of you here together for the stitch along, is email me or message me through our group message page. Let me know what specials are going on in your shops each month. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I will share those with, when we do our live videos each month. Mm -hmm. I think that would be fantastic. I, our, our followers have loved supporting the five shops yeah. and they have followed us through this is the third stitch along yeah. um, and it's sponsored and it's by these shops and everything and when shops sponsor things you know they they really invest in a lot in it and we need to give something back to those store owners we need to support them um so yes. please do <laughs> yeah. yes we appreciate it yeah yeah Okay. Carolyn, it's been very popular in Australia, this sampler. Yeah. 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 Been good. <laughs> is there um, a lot of the of sort of people emigrated from Ireland into Australia? Do you have a lot of people with Irish roots? I actually don't know. <laughs> it's just been they just really like the sampler yeah um, but I'm not sure about the Irish um, background okay. here yeah because a lot of people will be attracted because it's Bally Palazzi and it's an Irish mm. but at the same time you know you're going to be visually attracted to such a Bobby Dazzler of a sampler yeah well, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah you can't go wrong it has red in it it has <laughs> And it the blue is because you know blue is a very beautiful color. Yeah, that's a beautiful shade of blue. blue. It, it, it is, is a so lovely shade. Well, of blue. and surprisingly, it balances out the brightness of the yeah. red. It, it they make a really great. They make a really great contrast yeah. to each other. Yeah. For me, it was the diamond. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. The diamond and the alphabet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The really fun thing that you don't hardly notice from a distance or in the picture until you get your kit is the number of reds that are used. Yes. In this sampler. They're just, there's so many of them. There's what? One, two, you three, this? four. There's just a number of reds. These and two a, together. Yes. Oh. And then this orange. Yes. It makes everything pop. So beautiful. It's it's sort of like um, in England we have uh, candy called Tutti Fruities and they're mouth watering. <laughs> okay. And these are Tutti Fruity colours. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Tutti Fruity. Mouth watering colors. What's it? What is the term? Titty Fruity. Look, look, titty titty fruity. fruity. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you've got an obsession. <laughs> 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 That's great. Oh, it's a titty fruity. <laughs> fruity. Titty fruity. Titty fruity. fruity. Yeah. Do you have those titty in Australia, fruity. Carolyn? Titty I think so, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're from my childhood, but if you if something's tutti fruity, it's mouth watering. And you know the, the tutti that. fruity sweets are all these beautiful bright colours. <laughs> Oh, we'll have to send you that. Okay. So I guess we need a new Hannah Campbell um, dessert line. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. The Hannah Campbell dessert line. The Hannah Campbell, the Hannah Campbell candy company. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll just expand her. Yeah. She had no idea what she was going to accomplish when she stitched this sampler. Yeah. Yeah. So. Could we compare? Could we put the fifty-six next? Oh to yeah. Yeah. Is this the same? This is. Is this the same fabric? No. It's no, very it's similar. Close. That's actually um, uh, Bees V's 56 count by Seraphim. Yeah. It's just a little bit darker. Yeah. But just the size. Oh, I see. I see. Sorry. Let's just see that. <laughs> Listen, I'm really tired. It's, it's okay. Like, what time is it? It's, it's two o'clock in the morning for me. <laughs> Oops, flip it around. There you go. And. Mm. Yeah, so drop it under the. There we go. Like oh that. yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that's a nice yeah. size comparison. Yeah. The colors in this um, in this border are just exquisite. More, more this way. Sorry. There you go. There you go. Just in this, the vine that runs around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank mm. you. Oh, well, thank you. Um, we chose this frame because, uh, though it's not a rosewood frame, the shape mimics the frame that was on the original sampler. Um, and it must have been a frame that Hannah or her parents chose. Um, so we went for something that was as close as we could get in modern oh, day. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Oh, and you wouldn't want a frame that's detracting from no. um, all the intricacy of this particular mm -hmm. set. Was it was it a wide frame like that too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's rosewood. Yeah, it's more of a Oh, okay. Color. It's got more but, of that yeah. sort of reddish. It's, it's that sort of shape of milk. Yeah, you're trying to create something that is an illusion of what the original was. Right. And I think you stocked this frame in this store yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, okay. that's exciting. Yeah. Okay. We, so if somebody wants to, when there's this done, if somebody wants to order it, they can just say, the same frame yeah. that, that Hannah's model was yeah. framed in. Oh, there lovely. is there is such an amazing selection of moldings in this store. I wish I wish we could have these in the UK. People all weekend have been you know they've been saving up their finished pieces to bring with them to leave with Sandy. And I was watching Sandy help somebody choose a frame, and she has got a fabulous orange yes, she oh, she's, honestly she's a master yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah one of my we mar art the person we had doing our framing for a long time not that worked for us but that was local retired so i've had people ask like where to get it framed it's like it's just send it is it if you're not adverse to sending it yeah. send it to sandy yeah it's like yeah. she can either have a conversation with you about what frame or if you trust her judgment yeah. you will not be disappointed no, i right. never pick out a frame for my pieces. Right. She does it. Oh, she does? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay. I just turn it in. I would, I would be very happy to leave something here and just leave it to her. And that's very unusual because I'm a control freak. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, yeah, but she does have such a great eye for composition. Yes. She does. Which is really what yeah. Frank is about. Any other fun tidbits about Hannah? Um, no. no. Okay. No. Unfortunately, we couldn't find more information about Hannah because the mm -hmm. Irish records are so difficult to research, and okay. especially if they're Catholic, those records, they're just not online. Yeah, gotcha. It's really, really hard. We found a Hugh Campbell from Ballypaladi in a tithe book, so we know the Campbells were in Ballypaladi, um, but that's all that we know, really. So we'd have to go there. So I, we should have volunteers to go to Ireland. <laughs> I, I, I think a trip coming on? Is that what I thought? <laughs> she, she, she used to live in Dublin for a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is just, um, oh, no, no, it's, no, it's about Belfast, not Dublin. Sorry, I was going to say this is close to Dublin, but that's another sampler that I'm researching at the moment. So do they have the records locally and they're just not online, or is it just I, that the records are so sparse? I honestly don't know. Like, Ray's paternal and maternal line, um, you only have to go back two generations and they were Irish. And I've always hit a brick wall with the Catholic Church. So I don't know whether those records are held by the parish churches in Ireland or whether the Catholic bishopric or diocese have them. I, I really, really don't know. Um, Which is interesting because it's not that way in many other countries where Catholicism yeah. is a very common thing. Maybe Christian. something happened to the Catholic records and they haven't been available to That's possible. You know, the, you know, it could be a fire where they were held oh, yeah. or something. So. But, you know, the Irish, um, they are very um, affable people, very sociable people. You know, if somebody went to this area and sort of, you know, started talking to the locals, I bet they remember mm -hmm. a family of of Campbell's and somebody will know the history of that family. A lot of Irish history is spoken history rather than right. written history. True. True. Um, so you never know. Maybe this field trip. A whole different, a whole different <laughs> meaning of hanging yeah. with Hannah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> hanging with Hannah at the Irish pub oh. in oh, yes. Ireland. Drinking, <laughs> drinking Guinness. <laughs> my Diet Coke. <laughs> You'd have to convert, at least mm, a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't have. <laughs> it's okay. You can smell it. And I'll smell it. Glass. I had there a sick in this once. It's not. It's not. <laughs> I'm not missing anything. You've got one. Put hairs on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah. Well, is there anything anybody wants to add, or anything that you have special going in your shops at the moment that you want to tell people about? We've talked about the attic's amazing little box. Mm -hmm. And anything with you, Janine? Any specials mm -hmm. you have going at Acorns and Threads right now? Okay. In 2024, you will. In 2024, I will have something very special. Mm -hmm. All right. So something, something to keep track of. Something to go with Portland, the Rose City. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Kathy? Anything with you in traditional? Uh, I don't think Janice has anything going at the moment that I'm aware of, but okay. I'll ask her and post it in a comment. Okay. Um, but we're we're still we're still deep in the weeds of shipping Sarah. I know. <laughs> you dream about Sarah. <laughs> I do dream about Sarah. Yeah. Is it and, nightmares at this point or just dreams? they aren't nightmares, but yeah, yeah. It's like some days it's like, okay, so which box do we get to actually work through today? Yeah. yeah. Carolyn, anything that you have going on in your shop that you'd like people to know about at this point? Uh, oh, well, <laughs> there will be something special towards the end of the year. Yes. Awesome. So something for us to keep track of and look forward to. Mm -hmm. That's yep. exciting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how long have you had the shop? Uh, three years, just over three years now. Okay. Did you start it from scratch or did you buy it from somebody? No. No, the shop's been around for originally about 40 years, in fact. Yeah. Oh, my wow, God. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah different owners. Um, the original owner of the store um, still comes in. Um, she now teaches more needlepoint and things like that. But she's still local and still supports the shop really well, which is nice. Yeah. 
Carolyn took over the stool and COVID hit straight away. And You're right, that would be the right thing. <laughs> but, you know, it was a steep learning curve, wasn't it? And you've done it a fantastic job. You know, a stitch in time is growing and you're reaching out, you have a wider and wider customer base all the time. So yep. all yep. credit to you, Caroline. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Hard work, but and love having it. It's a big, yeah. is, is a big is, undertaking. That's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So, black all the time. And I know, you know <laughs> we have a lot of Australian customers and they all speak very highly of the stitching time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Well, wonderful. Yeah. I think I think we might I be think done. we've kind of covered it. This yeah. has been really fun, really it fun. Has. And, and I think and we'll try to do another. Well, so we'll try and do another one <coughs> when you're here in, in August, because um, we'll be back. Yeah. Um, and then in between, we'll try to do um uh an when remotely with yeah. um, Janice being able to join yeah. us. Yeah. And do you know what might be quite fun is to have one where you're going to invite some stitches from the group. Oh, to oh to lovely you. idea. I, I love that. Really nice. yeah. Good idea. Yeah. All right. Yep. Well, well I, can talk about, I love that I idea. We can talk about their progress. Absolutely. And I, we might need to rope Uma into that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uma, if you're watching. <laughs> You've just been volunteered. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> run, well, it would be now. very nice if Melissa would come on yes. and yes. talk about her experience Gabba and her on. give you some tips of how to stitch it. So that would be amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That would be excellent. All right. mm -hmm. Well, everybody, shall we say goodbye? Thank you so much Thanks. for joining <laughs> us. Yes. Absolutely. Make sure to check out the school. What, what's it called? School holder. Oh, school, school holder. holder. Extra special. The extra, extra special school holder. Extra special school holder. It's a long name. It doesn't it's... fit on the tag. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining oh, us. Thanks. We really appreciate it. And again, we appreciate yeah. your support of these five shops yeah. and of uh, supporting Hands Across the Sea with um, her amazing patterns. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye, Carolyn. <laughs> Bye. All right, there we go.